So, last episode it was all about the IGO, getting it track ready. This week we're going to focus on the Civic. I'm here by myself, so I've got peace to work on this. Don't have Gary in my ears. We're just going to get this ready to absolutely destroy the IGO. Uh, and it's not going to be too difficult. In my pocket here, I have a small list. And I'm just going to run through with you guys what I'm going to do to prepare the Civic to smash Gary's Toyota C1. First job it needs done is a service on the Civic. I've not actually serviced this car since I bought it and I have already done two track days. So before we take it on the third, it's time to do an oil and filter change on the car. Another issue that I've spoken about before is that sticky third gear sometimes. Um, what I'm going to do to try and improve it is I'm going to bleed the clutch while we're in here. And um, we're just going to put some of the nice racing fluid in and the bleed nipple is going to be accessed from below. So it's just going to be best to bleed it while we're here. See if it improves the pedal a little bit and see just if we can get a smoother third gear. Um, failing that, it's going to need looked at further down the line. But this is all we've got time for before it hits the track. So we're going to do that. Last track day we improved the brakes, we've got red stuff pads in there. To be honest, I wasn't really that impressed with them in certain aspects and I'm not sure if they need bled a little bit better. I'm starting to think there's a suspect nipple somewhere and maybe didn't bleed through properly but just I was expecting the pads to be a little bit better to be honest. Um, so we're going to bleed all the brakes again just to make sure there's that good racing fluid throughout the whole system. And last thing we're going to look at is just doing a, a complete spanner check on the car. So we're going to check for play all the wheels, make sure everything's all good. All my suspension components, my steering components, my wheels, my brakes, everything. Um, if I show you guys the inside of the tyre here, you can see I've been quite aggressive around the track. Um, the car doesn't actually move in typical day to day. It gets used a couple of times, but it's not a well used car. It's kind of used sporadically. Uh, for shopping runs etc and then it's just kind of much predominantly used for my track and um, so you can see there I've been eating away at the inside of this tire a little bit and um, so I think I'll get one more track day out of this it's no no the worst but after this we'll be looking at replacing these tires we have another special which I haven't announced yet coming up and the service coming with us so um, we'll do a full spanner check in the car just to make sure everything's okay and we'll know anything that is going to need changed after this track day as well to get it ready for the special, which we will announce shortly. Um, but that basically concludes what we're going to be doing on the Civic today. Darren's here because he was helping me this morning and then we're falling back on the Civic. So we're going to just quickly get into my dirty hoodie, which I wear every episode. And we'll just hit a time lapse and show you guys what we're doing and I'll catch you up to date as we go around. There's no messing about today. With Darren here, we can attack the Civic on two fronts. I'm going to start stripping the wheels off while Darren drops the under tray and then drops the oil from the car. I'm just holding the under tray to the side while Darren's able to get his hand up in, remove the old oil filter, put some fresh oil around the seal on the new filter and spin it back up in. Now that the new filter's in place, it's time to bleed the clutch. After a few pumps, the clutch fluid is that bad Darren shouts me out to come down and see it, and man, it was really, really bad. With everything put back together and built back up, we can now add the fresh oil in. Right, so, you might remember that I spoke on Gary's video, the Igo video, before we go to track about his underseal. You can see the difference in the the, uh, the two underseals looking at my undercarriage, compared to how good Gary's was. So I'm actually going to use, I'm going to try and clean this up a little bit and I'm going to use the same under seals he used to keep this tidy. can't remember if I showed you guys this before, um, but I gummed that back box and it's absolutely destroyed. Um, it's burst in there, uh, so the back box needs changed, which we're going to do today where we have it on the ramp. Um, the skin is just completely away, it's leaking. Um, it's just time to change it. It comes as a full section, so we're just going to split it there. So I'll take you guys over and show you the new one. See, to be honest, I'm hoping that this is the right exhaust. Or there's even an exhaust in here. Because I've not been sitting here for uh, two weeks or something now. Oh, 
not loose. So definitely. Oh, should be alright, I think. I think that's okay. Um, I'm going to mention too much about the quality, but <laughs> it's an aftermarket Euroflow exhaust. I just I don't want to put any more noise through this. Kind of want to quiet it down. I'm not looking for huge power or anything. The resonator's cut out the middle, so I'm just happy to keep a standard exhaust on it. So we're going to sit you guys up in the frame. We're going to drop this one down. While it's dropped down, I'm just going to underseal where I've got best access. Then we're going to bolt this up, and hopefully we've got. A... It still has that sporty sound to it because of the resonator, but it's still also blown. So I'm hoping that the quietness of the blow quietens down, and the um, the actual exhaust sound will still sound pretty good. So we're going to do that just now. When starting this, having a look, the exhaust bolts were that bad. I decided that heating them up from the beginning would give me the best chance at removing them whole and trouble free. Unfortunately the camera died and we're missing the fresh underseal being sprayed and the old exhaust being dropped off. But we're ready to install the shiny new back box. The fitting kit was missing but we managed to scramble up some gaskets and stuff that will temporarily do for now. First start up and hope that it's not blowing. started and the oil's managed to reach round into the filter. Darren checks the oil level while I put the last wheel on and torque all the wheels. So I've just took the Civic a short drive it's dark now as you can see. The exhaust sounds pretty good. I have ordered the correct donut gasket for the car which we will install ASAP. We took the car over for some fuel so we're all fueled up ready for the race. The next video will be the race itself. Before you go there's still time to vote on the poll. I'll attach the link in the description. Just want to remind you guys how easy Gary said this challenge was going to be. Um, hit us up in the comments. Let us know who you think is going to win and why. Also, tell us about what mods you think are going to make a difference and why. And I'll make sure to reply to everyone. So that's all we've got time for. Next episode, you will see us at Knock Hill Racing Circuit for the race. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys at Knock Hill. Jump, making them dance, making them jump, making them dance. We're about to change the game.